Forgotten Swimsuit by Sissy Tanya. Mark had been looking forward to Stacy's summer party for weeks. He couldn't wait to spend the day swimming, playing games, and eating lots of delicious food. When he arrived at Stacy's house, he saw that the party was already in full swing. Stacy was greeting guests by the front door, and the sounds of laughter and music filled the air. As he made his way to the backyard, Mark saw three girls playing in the pool. They looked like they were having so much fun, splashing each other and diving for toys. Mark felt a twinge of nervousness in his stomach. He didn't know any of the girls, and he wasn't sure if he would be able to join in their games. But before he could second-guess himself any further, Stacy spotted him and called out his name. Mark, you made it! She exclaimed, giving him a big hug. Come on, let me introduce you to everyone. Stacy led Mark over to the group of girls in the pool. This is Emily, Olivia, and Lily, she said, pointing to each of them in turn. Girls, this is my friend Mark. He's awesome. The girls all smiled and said hello, and Mark felt a little bit more at ease. Stacy grabbed a pool toy and tossed it to Mark, inviting him to join in the game they were playing. Maybe this party wouldn't be so bad after all. Stacy and her friends suggested that Mark join them in the water. Mark felt a bit hesitant at first because he had forgotten to bring his swimming shorts. However, Stacy came to the rescue, offering him one of her swimsuits. Mark hesitated for a moment, feeling a bit embarrassed at the thought of wearing a girl's bathing suit. But Stacy was quick to reassure him. Don't worry about it, Mark, she said with a smile. It's just a swimsuit, and it's not like anyone will care what you're wearing anyway. With a deep breath, Mark agreed, taking the red, white, and blue one-piece from Stacy. The top was frilly, and he wasn't sure if he would be comfortable wearing it, but he didn't want to disappoint his new friends. As he headed to the pool, he felt a bit self-conscious, but the girls welcomed him with open arms. You look great, Mark! Lily exclaimed, grinning from ear to ear. I love the patriotic colors. Mark felt a surge of relief, and soon he was having just as much fun in the water as he had been before. He even found himself secretly hoping that he could wear the swimsuit again sometime soon. As they were having fun in the pool, Stacy's dad unexpectedly returned home. He walked towards the backyard and saw his daughter and her friends splashing around in the pool. As he approached the group, he noticed that there was a new addition to the party. Hey, sweetie, Stacy's dad said, approaching his daughter. Who's your friend? This is Marcy, Stacy replied, motioning towards Mark, who was still wearing the swimsuit that Stacy had lent him. Mark felt a bit uneasy as Stacy introduced him as Marcy, but he went along with it. He didn't want to cause any trouble, and he figured that Stacy had her reasons for not wanting her dad to know that a boy was at the party. Hi, Mr. Johnson, Mark said, trying to sound as feminine as possible. Nice to meet you, Marcy, Stacy's dad said, smiling. I didn't know that you were having a party today. Where are all the other kids? It's just us girls, dad, Stacy replied, giving Mark a quick wink. Stacy's dad seemed to take the bait, and he didn't seem to suspect anything out of the ordinary. He chatted with the girls for a few minutes, asking them about their summer plans and joking around with them. Mark tried his best to keep up with the conversation, but he couldn't help feeling a bit uncomfortable in the swimsuit. As soon as Stacy's dad left to head back into the house, Mark breathed a sigh of relief. Thanks for covering for me, he said to Stacy, feeling grateful. Of course, Stacy replied, grinning. I wasn't allowed to invite any boys to the party, but I didn't want you to miss out on all the fun. After some more swimming and paying games, Stacy's dad came back outside and called out to his daughter. Hey, Stacy, I'm heading down to the beach to grab an ice cream. Do you want to come with me? Stacy hesitated for a moment, looking over at Mark. Uh, I think I'll stay here and hang out with my friends, she said, trying to come up with an excuse. But her dad wasn't taking no for an answer. Come on, Stacy, it'll just be a quick trip. And you can bring your friends with you if you want. Stacy glanced over at Mark and said, Sure, we'll come with you, and getting out of the pool. As they dried off and got ready to go to the beach, Stacy's dad turned to Mark. Hey, Marcy, do you have something to wear over your swimsuit? It might be a bit chilly down by the water. 
Mark shook his head, feeling a bit uneasy. He didn't want to wear anything that would give away the fact that he was a boy. But Stacy seemed to have a solution. I have just the right dress in my bedroom for you. Stacy went upstairs with Mark and handed him a bright yellow two-piece sundress. Here you go, Marcy, she said. It'll keep you warm and stylish. Stacy was wearing the exact same color and they looked like sisters. Mark felt a bit nervous as he put on the dress, but he had to admit that it fit him well. And he couldn't help but feel a bit grateful to Stacy for helping him out. As they walked down to the beach, Mark tried his best to blend in with the crowd. He walked a bit more slowly than usual, trying to mimic the movements of the girls around him. And he kept his head down, hoping that nobody would recognize him. When they got to the ice cream stand, Stacy's dad ordered cones, one for each of them. Mark was relieved that they didn't run into anyone they knew, and he enjoyed the sweet, creamy taste of his ice cream. As they were walking back from the beach, Stacy suddenly stopped in her tracks. Oh my gosh, that's Adam! She exclaimed, pointing towards a group of guys sitting on the sand. Mark looked over and saw Stacy's boyfriend, Adam, sitting with his friend, Rick. He felt a bit uneasy about the situation, he didn't want to be discovered by anyone who knew him as a boy. But Stacy seemed excited about the prospect of introducing Mark to her boyfriend and his friend. Come on, let's go say hi, she said, grabbing Mark's hand. As they approached the group, Stacy introduced Mark as Marcy once again. Hey guys, this is my friend Marcy, she said, motioning towards Mark. Adam and Rick both seemed to take the bait, and they greeted Mark warmly. Nice to meet you, Marcy, Adam said, smiling. Mark tried his best to sound feminine as he chatted with the group, but he couldn't help feeling a bit uneasy. He was worried that someone might recognize him, or that he might slip up and reveal his true identity. As they said goodbye to Adam and Rick and walked away, Mark couldn't help but feel a bit uneasy. He had noticed the way that Rick had been looking at him, and he couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. But he didn't have long to dwell on his worries. A few days later, Stacy called him up with some surprising news. Marcy, guess what? She said, excitement bubbling in her voice. Rick asked me for your number. He wants to take you out on a date. Mark's heart skipped a beat. He had never been asked out by a boy before, and he didn't know how to react. Uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea, he said, hesitating. But Stacy was insistent. Come on, Marcy, it'll be fun. And who knows, you might actually like him. As Mark continued to spend time with Stacy, he found himself getting more and more comfortable with dressing up like a girl. They would spend hours trying on different outfits and experimenting with makeup, and Mark found himself enjoying the experience more and more with each passing day. Stacy loved to dress up Mark and would often take him shopping for new clothes and accessories. Mark had never felt so confident and beautiful, and he began to see himself in a new light. One day, Stacy invited Adam and Rick over for a double date. Mark was nervous about the idea of spending the evening dressed up like a girl in front of Stacy's boyfriend and his friend, but he knew that he couldn't let his nerves get the best of him. As they all sat around the table, chatting and laughing, Mark found himself feeling more at ease. Adam and Rick seemed to be enjoying themselves, and they complimented Mark on his outfit and his hair. As the night went on, Mark began to feel like he was truly becoming Marcy. He had never felt so alive and confident, and he knew that this was something that he wanted to explore further. After the date, Mark and Stacy talked about the experience. I can't believe how much fun that was, Mark said, grinning from ear to ear. I never thought I could feel so comfortable as a girl. Stacy smiled back at him. I told you that you would love it, she said. And I think that Adam and Rick had a great time too. From that moment on, Mark began to spend more and more time dressed up as Marcy. He loved the feeling of being someone new and exciting, and he knew that he had Stacy to thank for introducing him to this amazing new world. If you liked my story the please follow me on my YouTube channel. At Sissy Tanya 18. I am always looking for friends accepting me for who I am. Yours Tanya.